another day, another station opening, and today we're doing Brent Cross West. So Brent Cross West has been built on the Midland Main Line between Hendon and Cricklewood to serve the Brent Cross Town development with up to eight trains per hour. Other rail services in the area include the existing Brent Cross station on the Edgware branch of the Northern Line, as well as the currently freight-only Dudding Hill Line, which is proposed to one day become a London overground route called the West London Orbital, which would see services running from Hounslow to Hendon or West Hampstead via Old Oak Common, Neeston, and of course here at Brent Cross West, where passive provision has been left for the future platforms. Oh, that's nice. They put a special message up on the train. Good morning from GTR Control. First train at Brent Cross West. Very nice. And bloody hell, it is huge. <laughs> All right, we've made it through to the big concoursey bit. And when I say big, I mean big. It reminds me quite a lot, sort of architecturally, and in sort of in terms of the sort of shape and design of it, of somewhere like Abbey Wood on Crossrail. Just the high ceilings and the way you've got the ticket gates, and then it goes down to platforms on each side. Right, I'm going to try and purchase a ticket. Hand on. Tickets acquired, there we go. Very nice. Also, there's media people here, which is cool. Oh no, that'll cause problems. Due to the loss of electrical supply. Times <laughs> five. We can speed run delay repay. It seems we have a bit of a predicament. The first train is now going to be the southbound train. So my plan of going to Hendon and then coming back won't work anymore. I'm now gonna, if I, I'm gonna keep an eye on when the train's scheduled to leave. But if indeed the first train is southbound, it looks like I'm gonna have to buy myself an additional ticket to Cricklewood. Well, since the train's been delayed, my plan for filming this video has been thrown completely out the window. I'm going to try and get some shots now of this side of the station. And then hopefully it'll all stitch it together in the edit. <coughs> so this is the western side of the station. The main things I'm noticing is that first of all, the entrance is a lot smaller on this side. Um, and things like the escalators only go up, they don't go down. So, western entrance, stairs, escalator, lifts, bike parking is there, newly installed zebra crossing there. They have got tents and stuff here for various th hashtag things that will be happening later in the day. And it looks like they're setting up a pizza truck and all sorts of stuff. It's quite a big deal this opening, there's all sorts of stuff here. Um, Do, do, do. Seats and wheelchair spot as well. Lifts, oh, I've gone through all this stuff. And then up, up, up. Lifts there, escalator stairs, all that jazz, sign. And then we've got this nice big open footbridge concourse. As I say, the other joy of this is that uh, not only is this a new station, but this is a new public footbridge over the railway as well. So you can see over there is uh, the other side. Uh, and you can just walk through, there's no barriers in the way. And then the station bit is on the right there. So once again, this side's quite a lot larger. And you've got lifts there. There's a cool indent benchy thing here with a cracking view down onto the tracks. Look at that. That's just excellent. And you can already see people on the platforms exploring. Lifts there. Also, there's this huge artwork piece here. If you pause the video, if you want to read that. But my lift is here. Interestingly, I'm used to it being one or two, but here it's F and M. Not female and male, but footbridge and mezzanine. I'm 
Disappointed that this isn't like a big glass thing, because that would be quite a cool view. Mezzanine. Oh, wait, what? This isn't... Oh! Wait, hold on a second. Doors opening. <laughs> Mezzanine. There's nothing here! Why in the hell does the lift stop here? Doors no! Doors opening. Lift going down. I've just remembered why the lift stops here. It's because that is passive provision to become like a future bridge that goes out over the street. But right now it's nothing. I wonder how many people will make the same mistake I just made. Because when I look at this, the first thing I see is the two buttons that are the same colour. And I just, because that's the same colour as the door open or like, you know, the other buttons, my mind just sort of subconsciously automatically assumes that that's going to be, uh, I don't know, something else. Like a help button or something. Okay, so down here, hoardings, bike parking. Hell of a lot of bike parking. Um, and the back rooms for the staff. Not the back rooms as in, you know what I mean. <coughs> and then, good view again out onto the platforms. And you can see just how substantial this bloody station is. It's huge. We come through here. And we're back where we started this morning. I, still this morning, but you know, earlier this morning. Oh, I like that bench. And I, actually, I like all the planting. Oh, this is cool. So, you can see the plants are like creeper plants. They've started climbing up these wires, but you can see the wires keep going. And then hopefully one day the plants will grow right the way up and form like a nice green wall thing there, which is cool. Of course, the new zebra crossing here as well. The big old development over there. And the station. <coughs> With its two escalators and staircase. Right, what's the latest on the trains? This side of the station also has a bus stop which isn't in use yet. Although I forgot to get footage of it until later in the day. Now, to the platforms. So yes, this does, as I say, remind me a lot of somewhere like Abbey Wood on Crossrail in terms of the big open high ceilings and then you've got stairs down to the left, stairs down to the right, of course lifts on each side as well. In fact, unlike Abbey Wood, you've got stairs down there, but because we're in the middle of the platforms rather than the, the, the end, there's stairs down on this side as well and the lift's sort of in the middle, which I hadn't quite realised initially. <coughs> anyway, uh, if we do wander down. So I am on platforms one and two on the slow lines. This is where most trains will be stopping at this station. Um, however, uh, for some reason, these first few trains of the day are only stopping on the fast line platforms, platforms three and four, which is why there's a big crowd of people over there. But on the plus side, that does mean I've got more or less these platforms to myself. So I get to have a quick wander around without being disturbed or disturbing other people. So first thing I'm noticing, there is a big old waiting room, which is good to see good to see ah, and it's open oh and it's warm one of the major gripes I always have with any new stations I go to is the lack of waiting rooms because the weather in this country is cold and rainy and miserable and if you're standing on an exposed platform with a bus stop shelter and nowhere to keep warm it sucks so I'm fed up of bare minimum station design so it's really nice to see that there is this waiting room here. Does this second door open? It does. And then there's more benches and information leaflets and things like that down this end of the platform. Lovely stuff. And then I reckon if I were to uh, swivel around and do a 180, we've got quite a good view down the platforms and up to the concourse. Oh, there you go. Toilets as well. That's good to see. No toilets on the other platform, but that's okay because most services will be stopping on these platforms. <coughs> there you go. A pair of lifts there. And now down onto platforms three and four, where the main event is. But the ultimate question, will the train be going north or will it be going south? We have a train! We have a train! Oh! 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 Oh!
Ima no, imagine if both trains arrive at the same time and then we've all got to decide which train we want to go on. So despite the fact the train's meant to supposedly be coming in about five minutes, there is no sign of it on any of the boards. Hopefully it still turns up though. Are these badges that you're giving away? Am I keep... Yeah, all right. Yeah, sure. What are they? Oh, hold on. Oh, very nice. Hold on. I've got to focus it for the camera. There we go. Focus, focus. Yay! I like collecting badges. I don't seem to be giving away the little bags as well, which is a shame. But a badge, I will not complain about that. Uh, and apparently the badges are made by the council, so they are official. But they look very different to all the badges I'm used to seeing at these... Uh, opening events. But that's cool, that's cool, I like it. It appears the conundrum I was speaking about is looking more and more likely to happen. It's just been announced by all the nerds who love tracking trains, of which there are many, that the first northbound train has left St Pancras. The race is on. Something that someone's very astutely pointed out, which I hadn't noticed, is that obviously on that platform, as I was observing earlier, there is, like, more facilities, so there's the toilets and the escalators. What I hadn't spotted is that this platform has no escalators. So, although obviously they built this platform because they might need it from time to time, such as now, for instance, it is very much designed to be not the main platform because most trains here will just be express trains. They'll be the uh, East Midlands Railway and maybe a few fast Thames link just zooming through and all the trains that are stopping will be on those platforms over there. Also, I feel I should point out, all of this space here is where the platforms for the West London Orbital will be if slash when that's built. So it's going to be there and then there's passive provision for a new bridge that would go over and down. The latest, according to Real Time Trains and various other sites that obviously people are using to track them, they're going to be one minute apart. Like they should be both on the platforms at the same time. This is insane. Everyone's going to be like, which train do I get on? This is just mental. Whilst it was close, it was indeed the southbound service to St Pancras which ended up arriving first. So as per usual with these events, there's a lot of very confused looking commuters aboard this train, but all the nerds have now arrived uh, because this is the first train. Oh, there we go. There's the other train going the other way. It really was tight. Look at that. Ding dong. Next up on this service will be Cricklewood. This station also has a short eight car platform, so you must be travelling in the front eight coaches of the train to depart this station. Crickwood, our next stop. And here we are. There we go, and this is Cricklewood. Definitely not as fancy as the other station. The train is here behind me. Uh, let's uh, film it go out. I think it really takes coming to a station like this to appreciate just how nice the new one is because this is very much not quite... Yeah, it's not the same, is it? Let's be honest, it's not the same. <coughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, with that train gone, I can say I have been on the first southbound train out of Brent Cross West. Alas, I was not able to be on the first northbound train as well but then nobody was, it was physically impossible. So it's hard to make out in the dark, but down there you can see Brent Cross West. So it's really not that far away. It was quite a short train ride. Um, anyway, there it is. Probably, as I say, easier to see in the daylight, but I am not gonna bother coming back for that. Instead, I shall wander over to the other platform. All right, now not far to go uh, before we are back at Brent Cross West. <laughs> we 
shortly be arriving at <laughs> and as everyone barrels off that train we are now back at Brent Cross West and it's a bit lighter so I get to have another quick look around So I didn't spend too long looking around, as I had already done quite a bit earlier, but it was nice to see everything again in the daylight, including being able to see the main development itself a bit clearer. The media team representing the development was still there conducting interviews, including some of fellow YouTubers. There's a render here of, I was observing earlier these wires with the plants growing up them, and there's some at the top as well, I was saying they will once, you know, one day grow the whole way up. And you can see there's a render here of what that might look like, uh, as well as what it might look like if slash when there's new buildings and development next to it as well. And of course, there's all the development happening there as well. It's a big old development. Reminds me of somewhere like Battersea Power Station, just the level of building happening. Uh, something like 7,000 new homes. It's a big deal. Uh, hence why they need this station. Sadly, I couldn't stay all day, so I had to start heading home back to edit. Alright, so this is me now concluding my video at Brent Cross West. I'm back on the bike. I'm heading back to my hotel. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. Check out the videos by the other creators uh, who, you know, go show them support as well. Uh, press the buttons, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Also, shout out to the person who came up to me and said I watch your videos. I think that's the first time I've met a fan. Shout out to you if you're watching.